What's up guys and welcome back for another EVE Online video. We're going to be going over the Mamba here, the Garista's Destroyer, new in Havoc. I'm out here running on a medium uh, corporate outpost right now for the Insurgency Faction Warfare. This ship is uh, is pretty pretty agile and it works pretty well if you're doing like smalls and mediums and things like that. So let's go ahead and kind of walk through how I have it fitted. I haven't done a ton of uh, actual uh, PvP inside the plexus right now with it, but I'm hoping to be to kind of just set up for success with what I've got going on here now For the rigs using buffer tanks, so uh, I depends if field extender ones or twos And then I'm using light missile launcher twos with uh, scourge furies These give me a 33 kilometer flight range and then I have just like a small infectious scoped and energy neutralizer in here it has a op range of uh, 4500 um, really only if like things get really close or whatever and then running a uh, j5b enduring warp scram and then also a x5 enduring uh, stasis webifier so kind of like my normal um kind of setup for doing faction warfare kind of stuff if somebody warps in i'm just gonna like throw this uh the scram and then throw a web on and then kind of take care of business and the 5MN cold uh, gas enduring micro warp drive on there. Now, if we sim this, I will get up to 17.94 um, meters a second. I'm also running a small uh, shield extender too, just for a little bit of a buffer. And then I'm running an overdrive injector system, just kind of testing it really, uh, just to give us a little bit more. Without this, we're about 15. So this gives us about another 200 meters a second here. Um, we could probably go with like a tech one of the drone damage you have to do a little bit better for that but uh, i'm not really too concerned about it uh, just carrying some fury light and some precision light in here and then uh hornet twos just to uh kind of take care of business that's kind of how it goes with this uh ship is all your damage is going to be coming from your drone so about 341 0.8 DPS and 178 of that is coming from the drones themselves so it's kind of an almost an even split between our weapons and what we got going on here so go and get these guys targeted up this operates these uh insurgency sites operate just like faction warfare so as you can see we've just got to kill these guys to keep the timer running and it's about 15 minutes to capture this one. I want to say it's like 10 minutes or so to capture like smalls, but it's also 15 minutes to uh, to capture the larges as well. As far as uh, com corruption progress, uh, when I started um, before I did I did a large before I did a large not with this ship but I did with the alligator. Um, it was about 1.2 on the corruption. After completing that large, uh, we got about 1%, and I'm the only one running in this system for it. So, with a lot of people running simultaneous uh, plexes and stuff like that, then I think you know you could probably grind out the corruption level pretty easily, and then uh, try to maintain it and everything. It's gonna be kind of interesting to see how uh, it all kind of uh, the battlefield kind of moves around uh, with everything. All right, we took them down. So I'm gonna kind of just keep rotating around. I like to just uh, orbit this beacon. Except this beacon is like a lot further away than the large I just did. So, and these uh, guys will come in kind of randomly around. So I think I'm gonna go over here and just kind of orbit the actual uh, corporate capture point and everything. And I just do the normal thing of just like you know reloading between rounds, and then uh, you know check descan and stuff. But if somebody comes in, then it's just you know web scram or scram web rather and go to town but overall i do enjoy the garista ships here in havoc i'm always a big fan of drone boats anyway so anytime i can use missiles and drones then um, i'm a fan i think that's probably one of the big reasons why the gila is a uh, pretty important or a pretty important staple in a lot of different gameplay mechanics because it's uh, very versatile. I feel like, you know, if, if I could run Tech 2s on this stuff, I'm like, this is a max skilled character too, so you can't really do a whole lot with uh, Tech 2 on here while getting a bunch of other utility. But 
I think Take Two Scram and Web would be nice, and uh, I think I'd still probably run the uh, the same micro warp drive just to uh, kind of keep uh, the cap cheap as possible. It's not necessarily cap stable; it's about negative seventy two point six if you have everything running, but you don't have to have the micro warp drive running all the time. And you're about twenty one. The neutralizer is probably the biggest kicker there. You, you as long as you. Uh, keep that neutralizer off then you'll be cap stable you can just run this uh, micro warp drive the whole time if you wanted to which will kind of turn that on here as you can see you can really kind of just you know clock some speed going this way around this stuff but you just orbit at about uh, 5,000 meters which uh, does pretty well the LP pay also pretty decent um, this is being recorded on the uh, test server before release obviously um but i don't know if the uh, lp rewards are inflated for testing i don't think that they are i've done uh i don't know a handful i would say of plexes and i've already up to like 158,000 for uh greece's pilot or pirates as you can see right here but i'll do a separate video and if you're watching this there'll be a lp store video for the pirate lp store that you can check out as well those uh light drones took care of those other two guys pretty quick oh no they're right here they're not on my overview that's why that's the other thing you're going to have to do too is i had to uh, add a bunch of these uh mardu guys to my pvp overview when i started messing around with insurgencies so kind of keep that in mind when you're uh starting to do these just to make things a little bit clearer on the battlefield and everything gotta take these guys down what do we have left here i think we'll probably have like seven minutes or so once these guys go down get those drones on those guys that's why i like running the uh the long range uh furies because i can kind of keep my micro warp drive on and where they kind of fall and warp in i'm still in range I think if this wasn't cap stable with a micro warp drive on, then probably not. And obviously, you, if you turn it off, your signature radius becomes even smaller. So if you want to like even better results as far as ev evading um, incoming damage, then you could do that as well. It really kind of depends on what you're uh, kind of going up against for the most part. What do we got left? We got nine minutes left on this one. Go and do a reload. But I'll probably be doing a lot of tweaking with this ship. Um, this is kind of just the basic fit that I kind of threw together once uh, we kind of had access to uh, everything. But I think I probably do want to get this damage a little bit higher. But overall, I think I like the utility of this. And even if we like, you know, kind of change over to this, and if I run an, uh, an empty slot up here for that, I think you're probably still going to want to put like a. A, uh, let's see go in here yes yeah, so you probably still won't even be able to run another damage amp we we'll just go with a, a level one yes yeah, see it's still gonna be a little bit tight so we could probably come off of the uh, take two shield extender with some other variant but I kind of like how I have it set up for now it's nicely balanced we've got we've got good utilization of the power grid um, a little bit left over on CPU so might be tweakable a little bit it really gonna depend on you know when I start getting to like more PvP fights how everything kind of uh, kind of plays out for the most part but anyway I hope you guys enjoy the video if we tell me in the comments what you think of the new Mamba and everything or just the Havoc expansion in general so hit the like button hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out